so uh why am i making this video i don't know <laughs> i wasn't planning on making a video but actually i did plan to make a video yesterday but i got too lazy and i was like you know what this is not happening but i saw something today and i was like yeah maybe i should do something about this <laughs> by the way if you guys are wondering it's like 12 so i'm eating so let's just do this while we eat <laughs> while we eat stuff ah uh, how do i start uh. <laughs> this video has no outline i didn't plan anything on making this so expect some unorganized thoughts i don't know if you guys don't know i i love losing governor bless the Japon. maybe a bit much a few days ago dominion happened and we all know what happened at Dominion. So Los and Gobernables de Japón used to be this um, group with six members. Everybody got along, or so we thought. And then um, on the final night of New Japan Cup, Evil, who is like one of the uh, founding members of LIJ, he was actually the second member of LIJ. He betrayed the group. So he betrayed Naito because he won the New Japan Cup. I wasn't expecting him to betray LIJ, although like I know the rumors about oh this big L this big evil push. I always thought it was Sonata that was going to betray LIJ, but uh, who knows? He probably I, I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to say anything bad about LIJ anymore because it's going to <laughs> everything. So. It will be trade, Naito and Los and Gobernador with Japan. One New Japan Cup too, and the next day, he faced Naito for the double title because Naito was the champion. Man, I'm already using past tense. What the heck? <laughs> and then, I said was well, because Naito freaking lost, um, and everybody got mad. <laughs> so here's the thing, like. I know the way he won the title, like the way Evil won the title, it's kind of weird. It was kind of weird because he did some dirty tricks and then he got someone dressing up as Bushi. Although on the get-go, I was like, that's that, that's not Bushi. He, he was too big to be Bushi. <laughs> Evil ended up winning uh, the title, the titles. And um, yeah, everybody was kind of upset. I mean, it was a quite upsetting for me. I was kind of like mixed feelings about it because I did not expect Naito to lose the titles that quick. But at the same time, I feel very proud of Evil for, you know, being the champion. Like, he, even when he was in LAJ, I was really big on rooting for him. And um, even right now, with him no longer in LIJ, I still, I still think he was like a huge part of LIJ. So I was like, you know what? Good for you, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure Naito would be happy for that. Keep it beside. But yeah, a lot of people are just really bad. <laughs> I actually did like a thread on Twitter. Probably will link it down below, but I don't know. Um, about why I I I wasn't feeling too bugged about evil winning and stuff but a lot of people really hated it and it went to like really hating Naito and I'm like dude chill the f out like <laughs> I know this might sound like I'm full of bias because LIJ is pretty much my main group and I would <laughs> I would always praise whatever they do uh, but here's the thing I personally don't feel offended with the end. I personally don't feel like it was that big of a deal. Everybody was kind of like, like, oh my god, it's the death of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I'm like, no, dude, shut up. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, okay? <laughs> like, people would say that even when it wasn't like evil winning. Like, people would say random stuff when something they don't like happened. I mean, like, I saw stuff 
being said whenever like Naito didn't win stuff and whether I think they were valid or not things were just said like whenever Naito lost and people would be like oh my god it's the end of New Japan and then you got like Kenny Omega winning stuff and be like oh my god it's the end of this promotion Blah. anyways <laughs> people would say but it's really funny with the outrage that Evil and Naito have been getting like very weird to see like people being genuinely angry with the end of Dominion and the whole situation with Evil and Naito like like I said maybe this is because I'm a huge LIJ fan and I'm also like a huge fan of Evil and I'll be like you know what it's fine I mean I'm happy with the result I might not be happy with the fact that Evil um, got the title this way and the fact that Naito lost it this quick but at the end of the day, I would look at it like this is actually something refreshing for New Japan and um, I'm even happier to know that right now we're going to see Evil versus Hiromu which is like Hello, they're, they're pretty much like Naito's dojo sons or whatever, but you know what, they both have like close conne they both have close connections with Naito and I'm kind of like happy with people I'm very happy with everything right now <laughs> I guess it's just kind of like me feeling super weird with, you know I'm happy with the result and then seeing a lot of people just being mad with something that I'm quite happy before it's just so weird and kind of maddening like yeah I'm just very excited for like hero versus evil not only because like they both I I personally think they both are very talented and um, and connection wise like with LIJ lures and stuff they both have close connections with a Naito and then two they both actually, uh, they both were in the same class here. Wait, did, did I say that right? Uh, they were both in the same class uh, when they were young lions. Um, Hiromu left first and um, and then Evil followed. I don't know if Evil went to United States first or did he go to Mexico? You know what, I gotta check. Uh -huh. That's why I'm very excited. They have like a long history. People would say like, Naito shouldn't be in the main eventing anymore. I'm like, dude, really? And also another fact that I'm not really too pissed off with it is that Naito is okay. I mean, with the goals that he set publicly, we already he already got his moment. Like, people were very angry when he never got the chance to win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship and then when he lost uh, to Okada at Russell Kingdom 12? <laughs> yeah, it's 12. Well, yeah, when he lost to Okada at Russell Kingdom 12, a lot of people were pissed, including myself. And then when he actually won the double title on Russell Kingdom 14, it was a happy moment. It was a happy moment for everybody we finally have like that kind of feeling of oh my god my favorite is finally achieving his dreams or his whatever we actually kind of like question what naito would do next um he had won the double championship he had won the iwgp heavyweight championship now um twice and then he did it beating okada at the main event of uh, Russell Kingdom and it was kind of like well it seems like he already achieved everything and looking back to his past career he already pretty much won almost everything he won the heavyweight title he won the IC title he won the never open weight championship not a lot of heavyweight uh, wrestlers in New Japan can say that they won that title um, and then he actually won New Japan Cup and G1 Climax he already won the heavyweight tag team championship and also he had won the um, junior tag team championship so 
he did it all pretty much yeah <laughs> so i i don't know like a lot of people would be like oh my god why are you not so supportive of naito and i'm like dude i'm i'm still supportive of him come on you guys <laughs> like i can see why i can see why it's not setting for people but it's also like for me it's not that big of a deal i already saw him win the big one i already saw him succeeding so whenever people said like naito didn't get to have his moment i'm like he already had Ugh. I know this video doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> also, like, um, what else am I going to talk about? Um, I see a lot of people, um, and I totally understand why they would do this. Um, they try to erase evil from the LIG merch, and I'm like, I've spent so much money on LIG merch that I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so yeah, I still have this. Um, my mom just saw this a few days ago, actually yesterday. Um, although I've bought this since January, um, my mom just saw it and she was really fascinated by it. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. Um, welcome to the darkness world, mom. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything to say because I was thinking of doing like unboxing video. A few weeks ago, I thought about this. But my packages haven't arrived. Actually, one of the packages that I'm really excited uh, has the Dragon Gate um, photos. Um, but they haven't packed it yet, and so they haven't shipped it to here. And I was like, but I want to know. Like, I want to know, like, whose pictures am I getting? Come on. <laughs> wow, I just realized, like, talking and eating is, like, a huge work. You just kind of like, oh my god, there's so many food that I still haven't eaten. Oh. I don't expect you to enjoy this video. Oh my god! Right now, I'm thinking like, am I going to upload this video? Am I? Am I really? Do, do I have the capacity to like edit this and then upload it even though this is like nonsense? She does. Actually, do you like my makeup? Because... <laughs> I was just about to like test some new stuff that I got and it ended up being very super evil. Like, do you see my eyes? I'm not very good at makeup, I'm just trying my best. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this is like a bunch of nonsense being thrown into one pile of video. Um, today there's actually a Dragon Gate show, so I'm just waiting for that too. So it's exciting. Very excited for that. I'm just generally excited about Dragon Gate now. <laughs> I'm really really happy that they reveal it as Dick Togo. I wasn't expecting Dick Togo at all because uh, I thought he would be busy with Noah. But like, from Sugiura-gun to Bullet Club? But you know what, he's a terrific wrestler and I... I just love the fact that it's so random you have Evil and Dick Togo teaming up. But it's so fascinating and so interesting and I'm so excited for that. <laughs> also like Bushi needs to protect his stuff. Like first it was Jericho and then now it was Dick Togo. Like Bushi kept getting his stuff stolen by people who would disguise themselves as him to attack Naito. I mean, do you have a grudge for Naito man? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I know this is nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any conflict resolution at all. I'm just rambling. I just have stuff in my head that I need to get out and it still doesn't make any sense. Whatever, at least it's out of my head now. You guys are being ridiculous. <laughs> so, see you when I see you. Um, follow me on Twitter? No. Bye-bye!